One question which uh, people have been asking me is uh, from where do I get my investment ideas? Uh, I can tell you that I have not got too many investment ideas in the last few years. Uh, and uh, investment ideas are first of all not made in a factory that uh, you create one every month or you create one every quarter. It's, it's difficult to do that. So to me, uh, the art of investing is more the art of saying no rather than the art of saying yes. So whether you go to a hotel and order a, let's say you order a rava masala dosa, it means you have said no to 39 other items which were there in the menu. You have said no to idli, no, no to vada, no to upma, no to whatever else is there. right? You said no, 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 no and then you came to yes and that is exactly how you uh, pick up your uh, investment uh, winners. You keep saying no, you keep eliminating, saying I will not touch this industry, I will not touch this group, I will not touch this geography. All your biases will come to play, my biases do play. So some shares which I picked in the past, which I don't uh, have any uh, regret picking up or I've even stopped monitoring them, right? Like my Procter & Gamble or 3M or Colgate or Hindustan Unilever, it does not really matter if they have a bad quarter. To me, I have been invested in some mutual funds where to me it doesn't matter if a quarter or two is bad because I am very clear that in the long run it will do well. So if people tell me but three bad quarters, four bad quarters, forget three, four bad quarters, I wouldn't even mind three, four bad years. So to me it doesn't matter because once having picked a fund, fund house which is good, then fund manager who is not corrupt, a fund manager who will admit to his mistakes. When I look at these things, I am happy with that. Now typically in a equity uh, equity picking up what happens again you eliminate some industry saying in this industry I don't know whether the company which I pick will make money or whether any company at all will make money it's very difficult to say which company will make money there used to be this company called Commodore which had something like uh, which had a huge uh, market share and at the same time Apple did not have any market share uh, Steve Jobs had been sacked and that is a time when the very good chance that you would have sold uh, Apple and bought Commodore. Today Commodore does not exist and Apple is ruling the world. So it's very difficult to pick up even the industry, forget alone, uh, forget picking up the share. It's very easy for people to say if you had invested in Apple, but Apple had one of the most tumultuous uh, corporate journeys. It was not like Coke or even uh, American Express or something like that where the smooth, the ride was very smooth. It will take Tesla, the ride has not been very smooth, take Facebook, none of these companies have had a very uh, smooth ride, right? So the question is ticking through during this period after having picked up. So uh, same thing for uh, career also, even when I ask, uh, when kids ask me what kind of career to take, I say eliminate what you don't want to do. You don't want to do medicine, you don't want to do engineering, you don't want to do law. You will come back to maybe only chartered accountancy or you say oh I don't want to do chartered accountancy. You keep eliminating and then you will be left with what you want to do. And great ideas require some preparation. There is also serendipity. Don't think that by just by sitting you won't get ideas. You will because your brain is processing something else. So you will pick up and say okay. Uh, currently the ROC is not good because the market share is not high. Once the market share comes, there will be pricing power and once pricing power comes, the ROC will come. So to say, oh, if the ROC is less than 15, I will not invest. I don't do that. I don't expect startups to have an ROC. They have nothing. Right? But if they have market share and they are constantly building on the market share, you can rest assured that one day the ROCE will come. So at that stage when you are picking a company, you are looking at something very different and the running company you are looking at very different. Like for example, philosophically, I believe if, you, if a country does not subsidize the, uh, the farmer in the uh, fertilizer, they will have to subsidize food grain that is far more difficult to subsidy. So a good fertilizer company which is very efficient like something like Coromandel International. Uh, needless to say it is there in my portfolio since 1986 but I have constantly traded in, traded out because during a, when there is a fertilizer boom the price goes up and when there is a fertilizer uh, not doing well it is ultimately a commodity. right? But it means a lot of money. So uh, you don't know from where these ideas will come. So you keep eliminating saying, oh, this uh, I, I will not touch. For example, few years ago, I took a decision not to be in a tobacco company. So therefore, I sold out uh, ITC. I had a lot of shares of ITC, a few thousand. 
and uh, I just got rid of it saying I will not invest in a tobacco company. Therefore, I thought I was compromising on return but with that I bought Siemens and Siemens has done much better. I don't think I paid more uh, more than a couple of hundred bucks for Siemens and today it is 2000 rupees plus, right? So asking to come up with a new idea to me looks ridiculous and uh, to me it also uh, looks suboptimal. I don't think I can uh, do it. And I keep wondering, I'm sure my wife also keeps wondering what am I doing? So I am sitting, I am reading, I am talking to people who obviously know much much more than me. I am visiting websites to find out whether some company will survive, not survive, what will happen. Uh, for example, in the US, the uh, automobile manufacturers would have been about 3000, right? Right from say in the 1900s to today. How many would you be able to name? Three, four, five, not more than that, right? So, uh, will, will Tesla be a big hit? I don't know, but I know for sure that electric vehicles will be a hit because there is talk against pollution. Till somebody comes and says, oh, the cost of making these trucks is so high in terms of pollution that it is not worth making. I'm not getting into that. So, again, you do not know what. So, you sit down, you make notes, you keep seeing what is happening, then you re you validate. Then, uh, for example, in 1978, I bought uh, HDFC limited shares. How do you know whether the promoter is good or no till you spend 10-15 years and say oh now I know the promoter is good. In the meanwhile you will keep selling those shares. So same thing for many shares which I bought sometime in the 80s, sometime in the 90s. But shares like Zomato which I bought recently are suddenly in the money now. Uh, I was uh, very surprised. I just started buying uh, HDFC AMC that's in the money, UTI AMC is in the money. Uh, I am not yet bought Birla, I just uh, dip my feet uh, in the water. Do I think asset management company is a great idea to make money for you as a shareholder? I doubt it, but uh, as the concentration improves, as the top 5 uh, or top 10 uh, start getting higher and higher market share and the top 3 get even much more, the chances are the uh, things will improve, right? The goal is very simple, you keep reading about different business models, see what works. Uh, don't uh, get carried away by saying oh only this model will work for example I remember a couple of uh, March or say July August 2020 uh, one AMC said no longer will meetings be held in physical mode I can assure you no longer uh, are people very ca happy doing something on the uh, on, on online mode people are very happy coming to meet physically I'm I have a meeting today also uh, where I expect about 100 people to turn up last meeting I went the, the hall was jam-packed right so all these things happen uh, so you just sit in your daily task you keep building the learning process and you buy a share slowly maybe you ultimately you decide to buy 5000 shares of a company but start buying 50 100 200 don't wait for perfect information to happen right so I, I, I have picked up shares right from 30 to 100 and then sold everything at 160 right so you there is never a enough Enough quantity to buy unless you have a shortage of uh, uh, ideas we have never shortage of we don't have shortage of ideas we have shortage of money right so just pick up something find out whether it will work for you buy it in a small way it requires a lot of reading it requires patience it requires talking to the right kind of people and uh, knowing what whether you will sit tight during tough periods for such companies if you will do that I think that's a good way to build your portfolio so is there some uh, um, uh, factory where you just put these two things together and create a portfolio in my case no these things happen there is a lot of serendipity but you have to be ready for it you have to be in the right spot at the right place when you get a free hit right you cannot say I'll come and play only the free hits you have to fill, face other balls and then when you get a free hit, you hit, right? So that is serendipity, but uh, this is how I, um, I get my ideas. Thank you.